All right, today we're gonna to try migrating from TrueNAS Core to TrueNAS Scale. So I had been interested in doing this for a while, but I've just been a little bit lazy and haven't gotten around to it. And I actually wanted to try running a VM uh, in TrueNAS, and I had a little bit of issue trying to get it to run in TrueNAS Core, so I just figured I'd go, I'd just move to TrueNAS Scale because um, TrueNAS Scale has much better um, support for virtualization and containerization, apparently. Um, so yeah, I was watching this video from TrueNAS themselves and they made the upgrade look really simple. Basically, uh, it's all through the GUI. Um, so I'm just going to give that a shot. Um, so the only thing they said was just to make sure that there were no alerts here. So I see a couple alerts, but they all look pretty benign. I don't think there's any problems here. Um, so I'm just going to close those and um, yeah, we'll start getting into the update. I believe we need to go to system and then uh, update and now we need to change this to uh, not true nas we need to change this to true nas to scale so we want bluefin all right switch train true nas scale migration is still in development yep 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 uh yep i'm gonna confirm i want to switch update trains continue says before updating please read these notes all right all right so we we changed to a release which is for general use so that's fine um, all right so I'm gonna before updating download the updates and yes I'm gonna go ahead and save this TrueNAS core configuration updates and reboot system after downloading sure all right so this is downloading I'm actually going to plug in a monitor to the actual server because this is eventually probably going to go down and we won't be able to see what's going on so I'm going to go plug in monitor all right so it's definitely doing something Syncing disks. I'm gonna head back over to the PC real fast to see what. So here it just says connecting to TrueNAS. Make sure the TrueNAS system's powered on. All right. Looks like this might be rebooting. Yeah, it looks like it rebooted the whole server here. Okay, there we go, TrueNAS scale. So it looks like it kept the old TrueNAS core install or um, operating system in, in addition to uh, install TrueNAS scale. Loading Linux, so this is the big thing with TrueNAS scale is it's Linux instead of uh, FreeBSD. So that's different. This is all different looking. All right, saw something about a TrueNAS, uh, TrueNAS update going on. A start job is running for TrueNAS update.
All right, so it looks like the update finished on the, um, the monitor. So I'm gonna to try to refresh this and log in. I noticed the IP address uh, remained the same, which is awesome. I wasn't sure if it would. And here we are, TrueNAS scale. This is looking good so far. Wrong password and user. All right, here we go. I guess this is TrueNAS scale, wow. It looks like it just worked. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, wow. Uh, no complaints there. That was a very smooth process. Let me see what we have here. New ZFS version. Okay. It is recommended. Alright, so it looks like they want me to upgrade my pool. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Oh, actually, I don't even know if I need this. Yeah, I ran into this error, I think, um, when I just upgraded TrueNAS Core, the version, I got the same message. Um, if you upgrade your pools and then later want to downgrade TrueNAS, it can be. Yeah, I might just leave the as is for now. This, I don't think it's urgent. I don't need to do anything right now. Um, let me just check to make sure I can access yeah, there we go. Wow, it's working. That was uh, very smooth. So next, I'm actually going to install a new hard drive into this TrueNAS scale server. And I'm going to use that hard drive for uh, running virtual machines on TrueNAS. I don't want to run them on the same hard drive that I have in there. Um, so I'm going to... I think this is an old virtual machine I was trying to use on TrueNAS Core. So I'm actually gonna delete this. All right, and I'm gonna power this down and then install the new drive. Cause I want, again, I want that drive, uh, a drive dedicated, it's a solid state drive de dedicated just for VMs on TrueNAS. And I'm going to install the drive and then uh, install Plex. So I've never done this before, but that is the plan. Um, so let's just see how, how that goes.